Welcome to another video. In this problem, we want to solve for the value of x, give it that root i plus root of minus i equals to x, and whereby x is a member of a real number. And also note that if you have the root of minus 1, this is equals to i, it's a complex root. So I'm going to use two different methods, and let's see the first one. So if I say, let's assume that if you have the absolute of negative 1, and I want to write it in a polar form, so we have absolute of negative 1 is still the same thing as 1. And whereby the value of theta here, so I will let it to be equal to pi. And why that pi is in radian and theta is in degree. So if you consider from the polar form of this complex number in form of exponential, so we have e i pi equals to negative 1. And our aim here is we want to make sure that we get the root of i and the root of minus i. So if you consider from what I let above, which is the root of minus 1 equals to i, suppose I want to get the root of um, i, so we are going to have i equals to minus 1 raised to the power of 1 over 2, and by taking the, um, the let's say i raised both by raised to the power 1 over 2, then we are going to have i raised to 1 over 2 equals to minus 1, this power 1 over 2, everything is to the power of 1 over 2. And we know that this right hand side, which is i raised to 1 over 2, so it looks exactly as the root of i. And uh, given this, okay, to make this neat, so let me start from the next line. So uh, this i raised to 1 over 2 is similar to root i, which is equal to why this is minus 1 raised to the power of uh, 1 over 4. And which we can still rewrite it as you know this negative one is exponential i theta i pi rather so we're going to have exponential i pi raised to the power of one over four and uh, by following the rules of indices we have exponential of i pi divided by four and if this has been gotten as the root of i so similarly we are going to have the same approach so which we used above as if you have absolute of negative pi uh sorry the absolute of negative i equals to one so but for this the value of theta here will be equals to pi divided by two so whereby we are going to have exponential of minus i pi divided by two this equals to minus i okay so and our aim here is to obtain the root of minus i so therefore we have the root of minus i is the same thing as as just say we have um exponential of minus i pi divided by two everything is to the power of 1 divided by 2 and which the result is exponential of minus i pi divided by 4 and on getting this we are going to back to the given equation which is x equals to the root of i plus root minus i so we are going to replace this value uh, with what we got above as root i is exponential i pi over 4 plus the second one is exponential minus i pi divided by 4. Then, so if I write this thing in a polar form, uh, let's say for trig identity, so we have cos pi over 4 plus i sine pi over 4. So why the second one, which is having negative, so that negative will come along with it. So however, we have cos minus pi divided by 4 plus i sine minus pi divided by 4. But from here, we are going to have if one and odd function as the value of sine is odd function. So which means this and this automatically cancelled. Hereby we have cos pi divided by 4 and here is plus 
cos pi over 4. So as it is known that cos of negative is even number. Okay, so cos is even number. And why this is 2 cos pi divided by 4. And pi divided by 4 is 45. Then the cos 45 is equal to 2 divided by 2. So if two cancel each other, we have root 2 only as the value of x. So which means that x is a member of the number for this problem. And we can still apply this second method, so which is much more easier than the first one. So we have x equals to root i plus the root of minus i. So we try to take the square of both sides. So we are going to have x raised to the power of 2 equals to the expansion of this becomes so the first one is i following plus so here is the root of i multiplying minus i plus so the second one is still the root of i mean the third one is the root of i dot minus i why the last one is plus uh, we are going to have this as minus i so i and minus i will cancel each other and here is x to the power 2 equals 2 so we have this as 2 root i multiplying minus i and then um, i multiplying minus i is just like minus i square so we have 2 root minus i square. But this i square is minus 1. Alright. So we are going to replace it here. And we have x square equals to 2 um, root 1. And which is automatically 2. Therefore we have x equals to root 2. So, which is the another solution to this. Thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to this channel and like this video. Never stop learning. Bye bye.